Hello everyone, my name is John Marisondra and today I'm gonna teach you on how to use this number 10 round brush. So it's a pointed round brush everyone and this is a medium size and I want to show you how to use this one and what can you do using this brush when you're painting. Uh, how can you paint beautiful um, grasses or other plants using this brush, okay? So I, I will be using uh, the same colors. So I have a uh, five limited colors here and I'll try to use some greens. So this is a very short tutorial everyone. And a little yellow. Going to create some green and some red. So here I'm going to create a stock first. I'm going to put some more yellow. So I'm mixing a dark green everyone. And then using this brush, make sure that it's uh, wet enough. Okay. So make sure that it's it's, uh, it's wet enough and uh, it has a very pointed tip here so you can see that it has a good tip it's pointed and you can create those lines beautifully okay so I'm gonna try to put some so you can just have to do it like this from small to big one and then the biggest push it harder and then to the smallest okay like that so it's not so perfect there's a you can create a beautiful uh, stroke of uh, crush same thing here so this brush is not so perfect Okay, so I think it's just very easy for this brush everyone to create those uh, this kind of wonderful grass. Okay. I will put a little amount of yellow. Same thing everyone. Just uh, on that on the on the on the on the first part when you when you create the strokes uh, just make it a little smaller and then push it a little more and then on the tip push it a little more and then while you while you uh, going away or picking the tip of your uh, grass uh, make sure that uh, you push it uh, away or pull it away so that you can create a very deep sharp tip here so the same thing here also push and then down there. okay Also do like that. Uh, so it's all different strokes. Yeah. See, so you can now create beautiful uh, grasses. So using this brush. Okay. So I will just uh, make it. Uh, since I'm going to uh, paint the tutorial. I'm going to make it as a complete tutorial, so I will try to retouch this one, make it as realistic as possible. So I'm gonna use a little more brownish, so yellow, red, and uh, raw umber. Yeah. 
I'll try to make the tip uh, brownish. So it's like a dead or yeah, something like that. You can go with as many as uh, you want just to make it uh, look uh, more realistic. So I'm gonna put a little more yellowish. There. Okay. I'll try to mo uh, put some more lighter yellow on the top. No, I think on the front. I think yellow green. So on front, so since we have no front lip, so we can put something like this. Okay, so it's like that. Uh, there's a leaves in the front. Okay. And also here. There, so it looks like uh, must be here. And then you can try to put much more highlights. So I just use the yellow greens. There, just put it on the on the center. I think and put two. And it also here. Okay, then the other one. There. So you can create this kind of plant randomly using this uh, brush. It's a very helpful brush, everyone. So if you have like this, you can fully use this. So this one. Okay. I'll try to put uh, to make it much more PC or BC. So I'll try to use this uh, light dark greens. Yeah, with the umber, blue under umber. You can also create uh, those small grasses, everyone, like this. On the ground. It's much more bluish. I'm gonna put some yellow. And then blue umber. Yeah. You can create those uh, grasses in the ground that is a little, with a little bigger leaves. Something like that. So this uh, brush is very helpful. They can create much more, um, much more uh, different types of grasses. You can also create a huge grasses like this. I mean, uh, long grasses.
there okay I want to improve more I want to improve this I'm gonna put a little more lighter Some shiny effect on the grasses, everyone can, can put like that. I'll try to put one more brownish. Yeah. So I'm also showing you how to paint this type of grass. We can also make that part a little bigger. This here. Uh, the, I mean, what I mean is that uh, this part, which is the tree trunk, I make it a little bigger, something like that. Okay, you can also create uh, some small uh, tree trunk or something like uh, using this brush. So make sure that the tip is a little bigger. Uh, make it a little smaller, bigger to smaller, make it a zigzag, something like that. Yeah. This brush is also very good in uh, any, any types of uh, plants. See? So this brush is very important. I'm not using it actually. <laughs> So you can also you can, you can you can actually you can also create a small uh, tree trunk. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, branches by using this brush. Yeah, that's why I also like this brush. But you should also also be careful because when you when you push this one, it can create a bigger uh, branches and it will be a, a big uh, miss or. Uh, it might be wrong okay it might not be good to look so you need to rest again <laughs> if you're gonna do that so here I'm gonna you can also create small uh, small leaves using this brush but it, it will be not just small but uh, you can create leaves one by one using this brush so you can create like that or circular leaves So this bus is very helpful. You can also create a uh, big leaves there or a close up leaves because uh, we always using the bristle flat brush for the leaves but you can also use this one yeah let's get okay Yeah, I think I'll just retouch this one and I think I will be done for this uh, easy method tutorial. So I'll just put a tip here. There. I'm 
I'm just trying to retouch everyone. Yeah, just to make it uh, to, to improve my plant. more orange some orange leaves so, so good that, that you put any type of leaves there so that you can see that some leaves are dying or something like that okay so I think I'm done with this one and I hope you can get something out of this you will know how to use the the uh, uh, pointed round brush so this is a round brush burn and it's uh, when you wet this one it's uh, it become much more pointed and I like this one to create this type of uh, grasses or plants or, or bushes so yeah it's very helpful and you can also use, maybe in the future my tutorials I'll, I'll be using also this brush Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.